More City Sports Talk. We in the building. Shout out to One Pride Nation, Detroit Lions. We took an L last night, but tonight we bounced back. At least next week we will. Versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, but might be bouncing back without Golden Tate. Golden Tate is being shopped around for a mid-round pick. I'm thinking three, four, five, fifth at the lowest, okay? Um, it's reported by NFL.com. Uh, Lions are, are trying to shop Golden Tate. And probably seeing why well, you probably seeing Brandon Powell in the active um, Sunday returning kick. So, you know, Brandon Powell is the future. Him and TJ Jones. TJ Jones just can't stay healthy. Um, you know, I told people this was going to happen. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you're not playing, you know, you're not playing number one and number two wide receiver money to a slot receiver uh, who can play a little bit on the outside, but that's aging that already less to step into. That quit on the team a few times, critical drops, fumbles. Um, Golden Tate's been good. People act like the Lions are going to fall apart without Golden Tate in the offense, uh, which it ain't true. You know, I think, you know, Golden Tate has been good in Detroit, but it's a chance that he doesn't get moved. Maybe it's all smoke, but um, it's just something I say. If the Lions don't plan on resigning Golden Tate and giving him money where, you know, where, you know, that he thinks, you know, he deserves and we don't want to pay him that money, then guess what? I mean, you got to move him to get something for him. You don't want to lose and Dominic Sue don't get nothing from him. Lose Calvin to retirement, don't get nothing from him. So at the end of the day, it's not a surprise. It's business. And I told people this could happen. And um, I, I thought it was more It was more of a, more of a chance to sign Golden Tate now that we know Ziggy Ansah won't be getting re-signed because they had more money. But obviously, they're looking at other uh, other options right now. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure as far as the team's that will need Golden Tate. Um, uh, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine the Patriots looking for Golden Tate. They have Julian Edelman. Um, I, obviously, I don't really know the teams that that would need him. Obviously, um, Dallas is a team uh, that that just thinks they're there now. So it would surprise me they pull the trigger on the third or fourth. And he said since the sent to Dallas, even though he broke Sean Lee jaw one year, I believe. Um, I mean, other teams that's probably looking for a slot receiver. Um, I really don't know. <laughs> Just off off the top of the dome, man. Uh, obviously, it would have to be a contender. Um, and it, it's just it's spread out right now. I mean, New Orleans could be a team looking for that type of player. Uh, that's the one. Uh, I don't think we trade them inside the division. Uh, like I said, Dallas, um, the Eagles, maybe. But you know, all in all, people gonna act like I'm happy to see Golden Tate go. It's just business. You know, I just seen guys lose a step, get paid. And guys just quit and, or just lose it all at once. The receiver position is a, a position that if you know how to evaluate, you can just plug and play. And people are gonna probably blame this on the emergence of Kenny Galladay. Um, I don't blame it on him. Um, I just I just blame it on the simple fact that you know receivers are, are is a position that you can easily evaluate. A lot of times you can plug them into a system and they can succeed. And with Galladay and Marvin Jones on the outside, um, I think you can plug in another slot receiver. And get good, good, um, good stats and, and good performance out of them. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna get Golden Tate performance, but a lot of people, you know, a lot of people in Detroit get attached to to the players. But I just put it to you that like this, you know, whatever you want with Golden Tate, you can say the same thing with Cal- with Matthew Stafford. What if you want one with Matthew Stafford? But it's business, you know. what I'm saying they're gonna play the quarterback position. Like I said, receiver position is is easier to find a, 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 a serviceable guy there, especially when you got two. Uh, potential, uh, you know, Pro Bowl receivers in Galladay and Jones. You got a formidable backup like like T.J. Jones. You got another young guy with potential like Brandon Powell. It's easier to replace than the quarterback position. So at the end of the day, man, you know, I would expect for him to get traded. But if he doesn't get traded, look for the Lions to resign him in the offseason. I think that's what it means. And if by trading him, does it mean that the Lions are giving up on making the playoffs this season? Possibly, that could be that could be the case. Um, but I think they still right there, you know what I'm saying? But um, they got a lot of holes, man. A lot of holes. They drew, they gave up a fifth for snacks. They gave up a, a draft pick to move up and get the shine hand. Um, so yeah, they're looking to get that draft pick back. They know they got holes to fill. But I just find it funny that they have a lot of money next year under the cap, I believe. And they didn't re-sign Ziggy Anson. They didn't sign Golden Tate. This team is definitely going into a different direction, if that's possible. Um, like I said before, I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly, okay. Yeah, excuse me. I don't know exactly, you know where. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly where where this uh, where he would go, 
Um, like I say, man, it's a lot of different places. Washington could use a receiver. They trying to make a push. Um, you know, maybe back to Seattle, but they seem to have pretty good receivers over there. Um, so, you know, I like to see where he ends up. Um, you know, if he does get traded, he might end up staying in Detroit and resign a deal. You know, he might sign a deal. You know, would I like to see him stay for the right price? I've always said that. I say he can stay for the right price, but I'm not breaking the bank for a slot receiver. That's just that's just me personally. I'm not breaking the bank for a slot receiver to um to get number one and number two money. Uh, for the right price, I'm cool with it, but they get a draft pick for him. I'd rather just not lose him for nothing. If the Lions feel like they, they further away in money or they have no intentions on, on paying him, they didn't even enter contract negotiations this offseason, that kind of signals to me that they didn't have any plans on on um on paying him. Okay. Um and that's and, and that's okay. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? So uh you know, best of luck to him. Uh, if he does get traded, I know he loves being here in Detroit. He wanted to stay. And, you know, it is what it is. I just want to give you guys a heads up. I'll link an article into the description. He could be on the move for a mid-round pick. Or he could still be here tomorrow after tomorrow's trade de- deadline. I'm not sure what time the deadline is, but it is Tuesday. Um, but, hey, just giving you a heads up. Hopefully, I can squeeze one more uh, video in a day. Uh, shout out to everybody that held it down yesterday. Watch our reaction video. Watch the Lions game. Kind of was upsetting, but, hey, you move on to the next week. And uh, we possibly could be moving on without Golden Tate, which I warned you guys this offseason about that. Um, but also, if you want to get in touch with me, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, mostly Twitter and Facebook. We both there. We all there. You can email me as well for questions, video requests. I do do those, and a lot of people don't know that. Don't put them in the comment section. Put them, email me or DM me on Twitter or Facebook, and I'll try to accommodate that video request quickly as possible. Mercy Sports Talk with Gone.